Hey, we're back live from Boston at Bill's Bar. It's the Oak and Anthony program. Yeah. With Lul, Jimmy Norton in-house, of course. Flew in from L.A. just to do the show. Yeah. Now that he's a big Hollywood star. <laughs> I'm a fucking nobody everywhere. <laughs> And we gotta say hi to some old friends, Anthony Godsmack in the house, Bill Farr. Absolutely. Boston! Yeah. They were telling me off mic that they're huge Yankee fans, so that's really cool. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, hey, oh. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, Opie, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> of course, you guys must just be caught up in this whole thing, too, right? Yeah? Big yeah, fans. Big fans. Lifelong, right? Lifelong. Oh, God, you fucking Boston people. Yeah. Jeez, oh no, no, fuck you. What do you mean? You worked, you worked in Boston, were you a traitor? I a traitor, no, huh? no, I worked here, but I came from New York, and yeah. that was the problem, you know, it was one of those things. But no, I understand, have, have, you know, have fun with it and everything. Hey, give Enjoy us a break, it. all right? Yeah, I absolutely fun. am. I'm not, I, I have probably been the most sympathetic Yankee fan for uh, quite a while. I have our own Ben, who has been through the crap with uh, the Red Sox for years and years, I sympathize with him. So this is just, you know, I have to take it, you know. We Yes, it was the biggest choke in baseball history. Yes, Ugh. we've got our asses handed to us. I was going to say that on their uh, their rings, the World Championship, they, it says it on the rings. Oh, so it does. Biggest comeback in baseball history, yeah. Oh. On the inside of the rings, that's what it says. It wasn't a comeback when the other team self-destructs. It's not yeah. a comeback. That's a way to look at it. Little League team could win if the other team plays like the Yankees did. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Awful. What a choke. Oh my God! Look who it is. Yo. Who? That's Bill Lee, the spaceman. Oh. Hey, there you go. Yeah. This wow. Is a, this is our star-studded event. It absolutely <laughs> is. It's starting to become a star-studded event. How you doing? Solidarity. 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 I'm La Fluenza. <laughs> I'm the new pope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, that's Bill Lee, of course, the spaceman, spaceman Bill Lee. And Bill, this is Godsmack on stage. Godsmack. Hi guys. So, I got the same hat at home. You do. C C C P. Right. I'm a left winger from way back. <laughs> the only way I'm going to D C is I'm taking it over. <laughs> I'm way before these kids. Oh yeah. This crowd is ruthless, uh, man. Who, who, who's he with? Who's that? My wife. Oh, I meant the, 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 oh, yeah. my family, my whole family. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's welcome, day. welcome. Yeah, well, you must be very excited. So I'm a ring bearer. Uh, oh yeah. I dress up in a little dress and then I have to carry a little purple uh, <laughs> pillow around with a ring on it. <laughs> that sounds adorable. <laughs> it is adorable. <laughs> you guys are on the satellite, huh? Yeah. 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 Go figure. Way up there in uh, space. And I always thought the space program was a hoax. <laughs> Very good. Look at that. What did he give us? This and Teflon. <laughs> and Tang. Everyone's a smartass. <laughs> Everyone from Boston's a smartass. You're yeah, right. We're yeah. just in a bad, you know bad position. This is where today. all revolution comes out of the mountains. Doesn't come from New York. No. We're the revolutionaries. We kick King George's ass. That you know. That was, and you were drunk while you were doing it. Right. No. Hey. You kicked his ass, and then a couple I of beat, years hey, later, I won beat. the World Series, and then I had a little him. dry hey. spell. You're looking at the number three all-time winner against the Yankees all time. Yeah. Number three. I hear you. You number two. Who's number two? Babe Ruth. Oh. That's exactly right. Well, who's number one? A guy named Dickie Kerr. Chicago White Sox. The Dickie Kerr from Chicago. Yeah. I'll yeah, Dickie yeah. Kerr. You know Dickie. Of, co of course. <laughs> How do I not? You guys sports guys or you just imitate? Uh, no. <laughs> Heavily. As a matter of fact, we just had, uh, uh, we're so into sports, we had the guy that invented the Spalding uh, ball. He was just on. Oh, really? Yeah, Spalding. Yeah. His name's Reach. Uh, no, this guy was just Spalding. Oh, was he? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, he stole it. Oh, he did? You actually know who makes Spalding balls? Reach. Reach did. Out of Chicopee, Mass. Jesus. Wow. <laughs> you guys are heavy of useless information. Balls were actually <laughs> sewn by Americans. Ah. You know, but no one in this country works anymore, so we sent them to China. That's right. <laughs> Bunch of lazy shits. Right. <laughs> Look at them drinking and cavorting and raping yeah, in a half right. hour. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
You notice that no one argued? No, no of course they didn't. Did. They just raised their beard no. and said, well, you're right. Yeah. Bunch of lazy rapists. Here, here. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Lee. No, no, no. Rumor has it Bill Lee used to I don't have the blaspheme to be important. Stuff. Really? Oh, yeah. Not like you. You're impotent. Let's ask Ooh. You're not important. Wow. <laughs> You're going to ask him, Opie? What do you want? Hey, he's Bill, got a question for you. I, I heard the rumors over the years you used to smoke a little dope before you pitched. Is it true? Not only before I pitched. Oh. During the Seven game? Seventh inning stretch? Why? What's wrong with that? Nothing. Nothing wrong. Just want to know the story. People say that I smoke, or George W., or I smoke with George W. Bush. It is not true. He smoked with me. <laughs> oh. Well. 1972, he was at Harvard, you know, one of his really great cushy jobs he had before he became a, a big pilot out there in Alabama. What, what years did he pitch, Opie? He, uh, did he what, really, what, what, year, did what year did you pitch? Yeah, what, when, when what, did you what, pitch? What, yeah. what year did I pitch? Yeah, what years? What years, uh, what years did you from pitch? 1969 to the present. Yeah, so you're still on the roster? Yeah. <laughs> I thought... Uh, I Thought won the that. over 50 world championship last year. You did? Yeah. All right. Congratulations. Well, thank you very much. Uh, do they, are they going to give you a ring? I don't want a ring. You don't want a World Series ring? I end up giving them to girls in Milwaukee. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. Bill, we have no idea what that is. <laughs> yeah? Wait, I can only imagine. <laughs> Shannon, you know what he's talking about? No, but I can imagine. <laughs> yeah, no, no, not, nothing at all. Wow. Hey, do you, think, do you think Pedro is a prima donna? No, I think Pedro's a great pitcher. Because he, Opie's always saying that Pedro is a prima donna and he's overrated. Opie, 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 my Opie. father, my father said I was a prima donna. It means number one dancer. That's what that means. Oh, all right, now I know. So if you're the number one dancer, you're a prima donna. <laughs> what are your feelings about the greatest pitcher of all times, Roger Clemens? Roger Clemens. <laughs> Roger Clemens is the greatest pitcher from the neck down. Oh, so he's got a big hog, is what you're saying, no? Oh. Let's put it this way. Yeah? He never won a big game for the Red Sox. Ah. He took himself out of the 86 World Series and gave the ball to Chiraldi. Uh-huh. Kevin Chiraldi, who you couldn't pull a nail out of his ass with a pair of eight-inch flyers. <laughs> and it's probably been tried. His cheeks were wrapped around that thing like you read about. Wow. <laughs> never give the ball to Chiraldi. What was, what, what was your most exciting moment on the Red Sox? What was the moment that stands out in your mind as the, you know, the big moment? The biggest moment yeah. when I played for the Red Sox was probably the 75 World Series. Right. 75 World Series. Yeah. I don't think they won that one, did they? No, we didn't. <laughs> but guess what? Yeah, what? In 1923, the Yankees won their first World Championship. And on that team... 81 games were won by Red Sox pitchers. The 1923 World Series was won by this Red Sox. This guy is a spin doctor, isn't he? I love him. Another thing. Yeah. <laughs> Why do all the trees in Kenmore Square point to the south? Why? Because New York sucked. <laughs> that got the crowd back. Thank you, sir. And there he goes, Bill Lee, everyone. Bill Lee. Yeah. And there goes Jim to get his picture with Bill Lee. Look at Jim running off to try to get a picture. Look at this freak, this animal that wants to take a picture with everybody. Right. Look, sir. Look at him. Look at him. He's the chase is on. Jim is running for the first time in his life. Jim is running up the stairs to get a picture with Look Bill at him. Lee. Look ah, I need my picture. And there he goes. There right. he goes. Jim just leaves. The yeah, people that are, that are here think we're kidding. Back at the studio, when we say Jim just left the show to take a picture. Well, you saw it here live, people. He is the most irresponsible little shit. He He's just from left Boston. the show. Yeah. He stinks. Yeah. He just left the show. Well, that was a surprise little guest that we had there, huh? Yeah, the spaceman, oh. Bill Lee. What a, what a kook who loves his pot. He loves his pot. Is that, is that his excuse? That's been the rumor for many, many yes, years. Yes, sir. All I want to know is why... Bill Lee brought his glove to the game like an 11-year-old Little League baseball player. <laughs> who shitting who? He's going to maybe catch a, a foul ball or something. And, he, and, his, and his uniform was from like 19. Oh, my God. That was the Bambino's uniform. It was awful. That thing was ancient. All right. Uh, we can't hear you, sir. We can't hear you. Well, we got to get back to God. Yes, yeah, sorry. I don't know who else will pop in, but my God, man. Well, what do you guys, obviously, uh, 
you guys got to be working on something. What are you doing these days? Uh, uh, I hear we pulled you away from uh, maybe a writing session? Yeah, we're writing the new one. Writing the new one? It's got boots. Yeah? Feeling confident? Yeah. I know you, you guys have had a couple of uh, really big albums, and it's got to be a little... A couple? got to be a little rough to... Uh, you know, come up with, with uh, new material and hope it's it's just as good? Well, we don't really feel pressure there. You no? know, we, We've been playing for so long, it's just a thing. Yeah. We write heavy shit, and that's the way it is. And it just comes out. You don't find it harder, each album, to, to come up with new stuff? Because I always said a lot of people have a great first album because uh, it's like their life's work, working up to that point. And then you have a few months or maybe a year to come out with the next one. Now, the trick is not to keep writing the same record over and over. Right. You know what I mean? Keep Absolutely. it interesting, but not lose the integrity of the song, you know? You guys have, uh, yeah. up until now, yeah, done a great job doing that. I mean, the stuff just fucking rocks. Where, oh, Jimmy's back. Jimmy's yeah, back thank from you, Jim. picture with Bill Lee. There we go. <laughs> You're you back. Did you get your picture, Jimmy? Are you happy? Is it, yeah, he was a tough one, man, because he walks really quick. And I, I, followed, I actually just got it in the back. I fucking chased him all the way around and got it there. <laughs> I know. He was running like he was running the bases or something, wasn't he? That guy is out of his mind. Oh, he's nuts. <laughs> he is completely nuts. <laughs> nice Boston fans, too. A Boston legend. They're all yelling, shit dick. What a bunch of creeps. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you guys are awful. <laughs> yeah, you treat your legends like shit. I, I want to talk to him more because supposedly he dropped acid once during a game. During a game? Yeah, the guy is just out of his, out of his skull. So. Wow, nice. Yeah. He's still on it. Yeah, I think yeah, just still, still seeing trails from that one. Who was the, uh, I guess that was his family with him? Maybe yeah. his parents or something? the horrified look on their faces? Oh, when, when the they, crowd started they, chanting something about rape? Yeah, yeah that might have <laughs> that might have done it. Oh. A nice family probably thinking it's going to be a, a bunch of sportscasters talking about baseball when he walks in. They have front row seats to uh, us talking about uh, his drug use and uh, yeah. maybe having a girl here be accosted. Yeah. And they're holding up signs that say shit dick. Shit dick. Shit dick. It, and he thinks he's going on a sports show. <coughs> so, yeah, but our old pal Ron Valeri dragged these guys out of the studio. They were in the middle of uh, writing some new stuff for the, the new album they're working on. Now, you guys uh, were touring with Metallica. We saw that show in uh, New York. Yes, we Jersey. did. Saw the, uh, yeah, saw that, and then we, we saw the movie now. Uh, what's it called? Some Kind of Monster? Oh, or the Metallica yeah. movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Unbelievable. Uh, did you guys see any uh, little pieces of that going on? No, they had the drama worked out by the time we hit really? it. Really? Yeah. Was it surprising to you to see that movie and then go, wow, this shit was going on like right under our nose, and you didn't realize, like... Yeah, it was surprising because we, you know, we got to see them every day and uh -huh. get friendly with them. And then to see them in that, uh, that situation where they weren't getting along was trippy. Did you find it like, because as I was watching it, I kind of found it almost like a parody, like a Spinal Tap kind of thing. Totally. That here's this hugely successful rock band together for so many years. I mean, do you, do you guys have any of these personality, uh, uh, not so much glitches or anything, but just uh, maybe grate on each other a little bit at, at times? Uh-oh, they're laughing and looking at each yeah. other. <laughs> well, I know, because I've been in bands, you know, my whole life, and I just know how it is. There are some guys that, you know, you, you, a little more power than other guys, some guys that lay back, and some guys that just bang heads all the time, and I'm sure your band has that dynamic. Well, that's what's good with us is because, as you know, Sully is the, you right. get a little bit of a head problem, you know. <laughs> A couple of us are real laid back, so it works out. We put all the crazy guys on one bus and all the easy guys on the other bus. And In other words, me and Sully are on one bus. Yeah. Right, right. 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 Uh, and that was a conscious decision to keep things civil, I yeah. guess. Yeah, yeah, it works. You're, the, you're more of the laid back, you know, I'm enjoying the ride here. And then other people are kind of like, you know, they got the power thing, or I, as I like to call them, Opie. And uh, <laughs> some of the laid back guys, me. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we have that same. Th we have separate buses too. <laughs> no, but it's 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 rough. And I guess the more successful you get, and the longer you're together, the more you really have to deal with that because you you are successful, and you don't want to blow it up and and you know end up uh, playing some small venue going. Yeah, we used to fill arenas. And stuff. Yeah, after touring for five six years, you learn pretty quick what to do and what not to do. Mm -hmm. You know, that's after about a month of touring, that's your new home. So you yeah. learn. To adjust, and everybody learns to see everybody's moods and when not to talk and when to talk, and yeah, and it's a it's a it's a lot of fun. Now, how long have you guys been together? Ten years. Ten. Now, can you picture 
in as many years as Metallica has been together, what, over 20 years? 20 years, yeah. Uh, can you picture being together as, as a band and actually still doing this? Yeah, I can also picture therapy. <laughs> yeah, with the and therapist. Lots too. of rehab. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that whole thing with the therapist and some yeah. kind of monster. That was some the, guy with a sweater. That that guy was. And then when they told him that he didn't, they didn't need him anymore. It looked like the therapist was going to cry. He was going to cry. Yeah. Yeah, but, but that was his goal: is pretty much get them to the position they don't need him anymore. Right. And then, and then, then they you're find, putting yourself out and of then work. They, they didn't want to let go. Yeah, right. Yeah. Then they finally tell him, "Yeah, we don't need you anymore." And it looked like he was going to just go off and cry. So like ten thousand a day he's crying about or something. But yeah. you you got to give it to uh, to Metallica for actually making the effort to stay together, knowing you know, hey, we got something that's huge here. Uh, I, I'm not sure if it's so much for the art anymore as it is. And I hate to say, you know, Metallica's doing it for the cash or anything. I don't know from a hole in the wall. But you would think for being together that long, that it, that it to have that kind of success has got to be, you don't want to give it up that quickly, you know. And they do seem like businessmen, especially Lars seems like the guy that likes those big paintings that he hangs up in his house and uh, likes the income that comes in. And I think uh, to hold it together for that, you know, to have to go through therapy and stuff is, uh, I guess you got to give a little credit for that. It's a little odd, though, for a rock band. You really don't see a rock band uh, uh, acting like that, but 20 years. Hey, good luck to you. <laughs> I hope, uh, you know, I hope you hold it together and don't need therapy. Tony and Robbie are looking at each other like, dude, you don't even want to know. Uh, yeah, well, no, I, I, I know how guys can, uh, can be in bands. Uh, we, I, I've been in bands, and, and there's always at least one that's just a fucking asshole. <laughs> and you've got to deal with him, you know? It's like you know, being married, yeah. but you can't have sex. Oh, it sucks. <laughs> yeah, all the bullshit and none of the sex. That's why we drink right. and do drugs. <laughs> What's the groupie situation like on the road? Is it is it is like I mean rock band? There's no greater pussy magnets than a rock band in the fucking. It's changed a lot, man. You know, in the in the in the 80s, you know, there was no AIDS, so like it really? was a lot more open session. So. As far as I'm concerned, there isn't now. I just plow right ahead. <laughs> Speaking right. of pussy, where is it? <laughs> yeah. What oh, are you please. guys doing to us? I'm not at this event. It's, this is Cockfest. Yeah. yeah, somewhere groovy. Cockfest 2005. Oh, <laughs> our, our, it changed our, on us, huh? Our fans. Actually, we have a, ver- a couple of very attractive girls in the crowd. Really? Uh, where? They, they came forward. <laughs> well, we have the girls that were um, the 22-year-old oh, from yeah, college. Yeah. They're still here? One from college and one's a nurse. Ooh. And, and and isn't it great in a room full of people you can point out the two girls and know exactly what they did and everything? That's how limited we are with the girls here. What? We got another girl? Any girls willing to show uh, Godsmack their wonderful breasts? <laughs> yeah. Where? Not you, wheelchair Fred. Jesus. What? Yeah, all the guys are pointing. Look, it looks like... There's Just one. throw it up on a pinball machine and fuck her. <laughs> you know, savages. The one girl, she's crying, crumpled in a ball. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. All right, hold on. We can't Ooh. hear you. We can't hear you. We can't hold hear on. you. Uh, here, talking to the what? mic. Yeah. Will I get a MiFi out of the deal? Oh. Damn. You know, we just got smacked. Oh, oh, what? I don't know. We have a, a, we have a roadie. We'll give you it's a roadie. Not, it's not a MiFi, but it's a roadie. It goes in the car. Mike? We're negotiating right now. We're negotiating. Yeah. I have, I have one. I have a roadie. You All right, you, roadie. You, you get a roadie for the tits and a my five for the clit and anus. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> really? Really. If I get a my five, that's all I care about. That's all you care about? Okay, let me add that. to that. You, and, you got, and then you got to blow me. <laughs> <laughs> or just applaud while Fred does. We already made a deal. I get both for everything site-wise. Jesus. Wow. A- no ass. No linking. Well, you, you should look behind. Well, I was Ben is panicking. What's the matter, Ben? Ben's freaking out. Ben is He's panicking. hurting and jerking. All right, could you pretend you're Drew Barrymore and kiss him on the cheek? <laughs> well, should we, uh, should we ask Ben or should we ask the crowd? I say that we ask. Let's ask Ben first. Ben, ben what, come here, Ben. What do you think, Ben? About, about her? She, she wants to show her bosoms for a roadie, too. I'm actually turned on. I'm filling up. And she wants to oh. show her, um... Clit and anus. <laughs> Clit and anus, yes. That's a, it's, it's, a, it's a black comedy team from the 40s. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, wow. Ben uh, is sweating. 
I didn't she's think really she, hot. Didn't think but she'd go for it. You, did can't you, have, you can't have Godsmack here and then not have any chicks flash. It's embarrassing for the show. We have to. I think she would have to do it like standing right there in the middle of God's. I only have to go for it for both, though. I have to get both. Wow. She's really uh, trying a hard part. You're limited with girls. Are you going to argue? What are you saving up to be? Jewish? (laughs) (laughs) Hang around, Dave. Jewish, I'll take it. Ben is freaking out. Ben has left. Ben's the, losing his mind. Yeah, Why? Ben has left the building. Ben's over there. Ben's like, no, 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 it's worth it. Yeah, she's solid. Yeah, we, we've it, done huh? worse, you know. That's, uh, that's good. Yeah. Will you drop a log on one of my headshots? <laughs> <laughs> Fred, ask Fred. Put the mic to Fred. Fred, what do you think about this girl? Fred. Look at me, darling. What? He, he wants you to look. He wants you to look at him. Fred's not a bad-looking guy. You're a very lovely young lady. Very lovely young lady, of course. Hubba, hubba. Hubba, hubba. Hubba, hubba. hubba, hubba. What the hell year is this, Fred? Very smooth, Fred. Hubba, hubba. Huh? Hubba, hubba. That'd be, that'd be relative if you were in FDR's wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> hubba, hubba. Wooden wheels. <laughs> I'm drooling. You're drooling? I don't think that has anything to do with the girl. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> really? All right, we got to figure this whole mess out. we got to get Godsmack Flash, though. We have yeah. to have a chick show. We can't, we, it's embarrassing if we don't get these guys are rock stars. All right, yeah, wait, wait, just hang hang out. Enjoy your beverage. Yeah, keep and, her uh, to the side. Yeah. What, miss, miss, by the way, miss, miss. Yes? Keep her in the bullpen. How, ask her how old she is. Yeah, how old are you, young lady? 23. Uh, 23. Do you have a fella? Huh? Do you have a fella? Do I have a what? A fellow. A, a boyfriend. Guy. You have a boyfriend? He's here waiting. Is he oh, really? waiting for the show. Really? By the way, you are at the beginnings of Jim trying to pick you up line, if in case no one's noticed. Yeah, no, him no, asking you that might mean Jimmy can come home with the two you will be online. Oh, Jimmy likes that. I, 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 I like it if there's certain limits. Like, your boyfriend wouldn't want to get involved, would he, with me? Hey, Jimmy, oh. I've been here the whole time, wait, sir. Well, Jimmy, it's about time you showed up two and a half hours into the show. This guy is a prick, and I love him. And oh. he's getting drunker and drunker as we go here. He's yelling shit dick at Billy. What a creep. <laughs> he really is. Why, you, you and your boyfriend do things uh, in front of other people? Maybe we could. You Maybe could? you could. Have you in the past? All right, where's the boyfriend? Have you in the past? Maybe. 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 Wait, where's the boyfriend? Maybe. Like, would it be bad if you two did that? All right, get that tool up here. Yeah, bring him up here. <laughs> All right, get the boyfriend up He's here. He's probably strapping with broad shoulders. Get the boyfriend up yep. here. You guys, are you guys bored? No. You guys are all right with this? <laughs> this is cool. No, right. By the way, that's the difference between rock star and radio people. The rock stars get laid and we get, oh, here's my boyfriend. Come up and say hi. Yeah. <laughs> Sign hey, a wow sticker and then go. jerk off in the back room alone. Wow, you're, um, you're, uh, you're uh, fucking her. <laughs> there you go. Nice. All right, you, hold on, hold on. Let's get into So... Would you invite Jim back to your pad? We live really far. But well, how about well, I, my hotel's not far? I don't want to touch anybody. I just want to whack my bag and watch and yell. So he, nice. yeah, Jim can come back. Nice. So he would. Wait, no, here's ja- he would jack it as you two go at it. Yeah, he yeah. Would watch. In Jim's hotel room, which do we, is very Do we have to put an ad on Craigslist first? Yeah, yeah, it would actually make me feel more comfortable if you just showed up and pretended you didn't know me and then you guys spit go, on me. You guys go back to Jim's place. It's close to here. You guys just go at it, and you're just going to whack your bag? Yeah, I've watched couples before. It's fine. <laughs> as long as I don't... I just don't want the... I've had threesomes, too. I just don't want the guy touching me. He's not I come too quick. <laughs> <laughs> LOL. <laughs> yeah, well... So do we have a love match yeah, here? I think we have a love connection. <laughs> wow. That would be worth the MiFi. You just tell us what happened uh, tomorrow. Yeah, of course. <laughs> what, Donkey Sausage wants to go back to? We already made a deal. We well, like her. can't break the deal. All right, so you guys are going to go home with Jim after the show. <laughs> do you have tickets to the game? You guys got tickets to the game? 
Tickets to the game? Nah. No. Nah, nah, nah. No. Oh, don't, no, don't worry. We weren't going to give you any. Yeah. Ben, ben had some, yeah. but apparently he had so many friends, yeah. he just uh, tossed them out. All right, well, we got it. we're going to negotiate this. All right, negotiate we'll something, and perhaps uh, we'll get an update on uh, the lovely yeah. couple in here I, I tomorrow. Can, here's my, 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 my impression of the update. Uh, it was really cool. Uh, they didn't show up, so I just jerked off to the photos that Sex Bagel took of them talking. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know Jimmy. You guys know Jimmy's serious. Maybe we're serious. You go Maybe. back to his room. The game will be on. You do what you have to do. He'll do what he has to do. Well, and, the, and then we'll have as a great. As long as the game's on, And then we'll have a great story for tomorrow's show. I don't want to get involved. I'm not, I don't, don't want to touch them. You know, I'm not into. No, whatever. you just jack it. You just want to watch, right? Yeah, I just want to jack it. And, and maybe if I cry and go, you're so lucky, sir. Don't let that kill the mood. <laughs> it's just my low self-esteem. Imagine you're, you're going at it and then just looking over and seeing Jimmy there, their old red face. Especially since I got to play with my nipples to stay hard. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fucking awful. Believe me, I am. A petri dish of cancer would be more conducive with a sexual mood than me jerking off on a chaise. All right, well, we got that going on as well. All right. So we'll well, see. We'll, he's, he's serious, though. Stick around. Who we'll, said we weren't? We don't do fake radio bullshit. I mean, you'll see when we go to commercial, he'll start negotiating and working this out. Do we look not serious? All right, then. No, no, we should say maybe a lot. It's Wait, well, let's talk to the guy. Yeah, he, he, he's, he's involved with it, too. Yeah, dude. Sir? What's his name? What's his name? Vic Morrow hat. What's your name, bro? Sean. Sean, are you willing to bang your chick in front of Jimmy? Absolutely. Just for Jimmy, though. Yeah, just for please. Yeah. Well, of course. Well, I guess the deal's a deal. <laughs> wow. We'll have an update at uh, Paradise tomorrow when we're, we're doing the show. Yes, we Paradise. will. you got to bring the MiFi with you, though, Jimmy. Oh, yeah, I'll put it in my hiney. After you guys are done, you can pull it out. You can just yank it out when I come. <laughs> All right, what, good. What, what kind of what kind of uh, what kind of hairstyle you sport down there? Oh, it's um non-existent. Ooh, Ooh a wood floor. Yeah. I like that. Should we take a look? Or, I'm a natural yes. redhead, but you would never know. Or as we like to call it, the Jean Benet Ramsey. <laughs> yeah, so sexy. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the other one was the Connor's armpit. <laughs> yes, little Connor Peterson's armpit. <laughs> hey, could you at least flash Godsmack? You got a flash Godsmack. You got a flash Godsmack. Right. Yeah. That's fair. On stage. On stage. On stage. Oh, here. Yeah, but it's got to be like, so everyone, the, there you the, go. The boys have to see it, though. Oh. oh yeah. Those are lovely. Yeah. Nice. Those are lovely. Oh, yeah. Do a quick Do spin. The crowd. A quick spin. Do a quick, quick spin. quick spin. They love you. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 we got the C. Oh, there she goes. No, no, you got to get on stage. Get on stage. Yeah, get up and do you it. you got to get on stage. you got to be a good All right, sport. ladies and gentlemen, yeah. here's a photo op. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Boy, that's <laughs> your photo op moment. Bill Lee gets shit thick, and that gets a round of applause. Yes. Right, right outside Fenway. All right, very nice. I, I guess that was lovely. She's hot. We gotta take a break. I gotta whiz again. Yeah, I gotta whiz. Uh, yeah, you gotta gonna go, whiz. I gotta go work my mule a little, so it's impressive. Oh. I'm packing a half right now. Shannon, you guys hanging or? You guys are hanging, right? Yeah, we're hanging or you guys gonna leave? Robbie, Tony, you guys hang a little bit. Gonna hang out. Have hang another out beer or something. Well, I should go. Yeah, All right, cool. You guys, let's hear it for Godsmack stopping by. They're hanging with us today. It's the Open Anthony program live from Bill's Bar. We'll continue in just a bit. Like sands through the hourglass. So is the O and A virus. Oh, what's up, Pop? Hey guys, I don't mean Problem? to interrupt you. I wasn't drunk. You can't get drunk over coffee, orange juice, eggs, bacon. I didn't say drunk. you were drunk. Who okay. said drunk? Eric said you were drunk. Eric, I, I would never drunk. accuse Master Poe of being drunk when he was in the street. And sounded like a complete asshole. That is a great o clip. Party yeah, rock. Okay, what the fine. hell is ONA Party Rock? All right, well, fine. I was enjoying myself. I was told to go down and hand o out stickers and have rock. a good time. High exactly on life, not doing. alcohol. <laughs> yeah, he didn't hear the clip because he didn't have a set of them. Yeah, I know. that's a good one. Right. Well, but you know what I noticed? You got to admit, it sounds a little, uh, okay, a fine. little, you know. Four days. <laughs> four days. I my I lost my my voice and I couldn't really talk. And yeah. I was told to go down, hand out stickers. Ke Club Soda Kenny told me to go down, ha hand out stickers, and uh, have a good time. 
And that's exactly what I did. party rock! Yeah, I know. I don't know what old day party rock means. All right, well, whatever. I do notice that... Uh, we did all acknowledge how uh, you did a great job down there, though. Well, you handed you. out thousands and thousands of WoW stickers for us. Thank you. And thank cups you. And, and all, but he was getting on this uh, microphone that another club had in the middle of uh, oh, thousands yeah. of people on the street, and this is what he was coming up with. Oh, and I rock! <laughs> no, no, That's come on. an attention getter. <laughs> That's the only thing. That's not the only thing I say. All right, so you want to go on record and say that when you did this... Oh, and I rock! You weren't drunk. No, I wasn't drunk. That clip gets funnier and funnier, man. <laughs> All right, very good. All Thank right, you, so Master Paul. So uh, you left here yesterday, and what happened? What Traffic. Were you, were you doing heroin with Master Paul? <laughs> no, I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Guys, what are you doing to me? Well, it's kind of, I, was, I, I don't take drugs. I don't do any of that stuff. That's a little play on the last yeah, joke. Yeah, I was I kind of, it was kind of a sarcastic statement about yeah, Paul, Eric's exaggeration. There was I a lot understand. of sarcasm in that statement. Yes. Okay. About right. Eric's... You, know, you, you point to Eric, you, know, you try to pawn it off on Eric. <laughs> There's a little play on what Eric said. Remember when he called you drunk? I know, Paul was only kidding. He just does so much coke in the morning. He comes in and he goes, all right. Well, according to Eric. <laughs> according according to, to Eric. Eric. Oh, my God, you are dead. You're a dead man. Eric, tell everyone what you were telling us in the, in the office. Yeah, what we Where you saw him in the stall. Doing what? Uh-oh. Bent over the stall, doing something. No? Oh, boy. Oh, oh. He doesn't want to share on the air anything. You're asking for it. He's, a little, he's scared for his life. I, I, I don't blame him, you know. Not, neither do I. Kobe and Anthony, the virus is spreading.